Let's see. Happy Thursday. I don't move every day. I always think. Oh God, what did I do? <laughs> All right. Anyway, oh, okay, a little bit. All right. Anyway, happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. It is the second to last day. I know there was a mark here, but I guess it's gone now. Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> That's neat. Anyway, yes, happy Thursday. Starting us off with some Adam Tell from uh, No Copyright, No Copyright Sounds on the YouTube stream, and it's I love I love Adam Tell a lot. One of my favorite uh, EDM artists outside of Porter Robinson and uh, Tristan. It's very really good. But anyway, we're back in open bush today because I don't play anything else. Because <laughs> that's not true. I was trying to do. I was trying to do Anna 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 VR because I thought we could animate this diorama, but uh, that wasn't working out so well with the index controllers. So we're not doing that. <laughs> um, I didn't foresee that going well because every time I try to skip a frame, because it's animation, so I'd skip a frame in the uh. Uh, for the tutorial, it would just keep going. I was like, mm, that's not great. <laughs> so today we're just back in open bush because I like being in here. <laughs> it's, it's just totally fine. But today I had the idea of uh, we're going to draw a, uh, a little diorama cat cafe. And it could be as wacky as I feel like it. I don't have to be restrained by the laws of reality in this one. So I'm talking about some big old cat statues or something. I don't know. A little cat plaza. Or something. Maybe some Alice in Wonderland tea garden type style. But uh, that's what I did. I was doing a uh, practice. Like a two point perspective practice. And if you don't know what two point perspective is. It's so like you got a line. You got a vanishing point, And you got a vanishing point. And how it works is that you draw lines out from the vanishing point, like that. Um, and all lines go to and from the vanishing point. So in this instance, this is like, you know, you, then you just kind of, you draw everything in line with it as you need it to be. And that's how two points perspective works. So, you know, I was doing a little warm up with that from uh, Trent uh, Kanuga, I think. And I decided to draw a cat cafe in that, so we're gonna continue this and make an even better cat cafe. Uh, <laughs> on a note of perspective, there's actually a lot of different types of perspective. So this is a uh, this is two point. That's two point, and then you have one point perspective. And your lines usually always on the horizon line. So like what is important with art is uh, how far below or above the horizon line, your your object extends, so this one's kind of got lines going out like that. This is usually, that's how that goes. We'll take a different color. So then if you would have a box, you draw it like that. And this is like one of those things that's more receding. Probably going like down like that. This is, uh, this is your basic perspective right here. So like if you were below it, you get more of like a worm's eye and then you're above it, the horizontal. Because horizontal is usually eye level, so this is pretty straight. That's why the roof goes down. But if you look down here, it's more of like a bird's eye view. So everything's kind of more, way, or if you go way below it, then everything looks super tall. And so that's one point. And then of course you have, uh, there's something called three points perspective. So you do this, this, and then you have one up there. So you have like the basic, but then you also have this is how your height works. And you can make some interesting lines with this. So like this one, perfectly straight, but this one, you not ever, all the walls are perfectly straight up and down in this. So if you make the same building. Then everything is kind of like, it seems like it's a little bit steeper 
than it really is just because it's not all straight down so if you look at this one this one's like like straight up and down and this one's got more of an angle so it's got more of a cone that goes up into it but anyway there's your art lesson for today <laughs> there's your perspective lesson um, I'm gonna get rid of all of these now and we're gonna start working on our little cat cafe because that's the mood today I haven't really done much today I'm not gonna lie it's a it's a Thursday and uh, I get tired by Thursdays because I have like a lot of classes and things. <laughs> by the time we get to Thursday. But anyway, chat, how you doing? Hope you're good. Where's my drafting line? There's my drafting lines. Let's do Okay. Could make a kitty tea garden, cat cafe tea garden what's gonna happen I saw this massive flower as I was walking and like you know you got like a normal bush like a norm normal like bush flower and then it was like big old stock and then a big old flower and it was like it was it was a big flower like it's, it's really good because then you have like a larger bush but this is like you know imagine a normal bush and then you have the flower that's like, at least, it's bigger than, the flower head itself is bigger than your hand. Which is, it's all like, pretty massive looking flower. So maybe we'll start with that. Let me see. So it's like a, it's gonna be a cat garden. So we gotta always have the obligatory, uh. Little cat tree. I watch a YouTuber. Who, it's like a Claire. Oh man, I don't. I don't know. She's Korean, I think. But she literally got like nine cats, and her entire video channel is just. Uh. It's just it's just videos about her cats, but she's got very amazing, like strange, cat toys. And everything. Like little cat trees and, and whatnot, and it's very it's very entertaining to see what her it's like her entire house is made for the cats. <laughs> so it's very good. We got our obligatory. We got a cat tree here. And then some like little little string come out of here. There we go, and then we got, let's see what we got. I'm gonna keep that flower there, honestly. My cat has like a dolphin that she likes to sit on. It's like a big old pill pet, a dolphin type of a thing. She's a little fluffy, fluffy thing. She likes to step on, we'll make it like a little wall. With like cat scratchers. And this up here's got like some catnip, a catnip garden. Ooh, actually, this is an idea I for like a watering tank. Because I have like this water tank that's kind of like a. It's got like a little waterfall and thing on it. There we go. But I always wanted to like put some catnip on the top, like a little grassy part, while the water was flowing out. So like you water the catnip at the same time as your pets. I thought that was neat. <laughs> so we're gonna have like a massive waterfall type of thing. And my cat really likes to drink from it. And like some water a little thing. Like a rice field. It's a question of like what scale is this all? I mean it's all pretty much the same size, so I should make this pretty flat. 
It's like, uh, what else do cats have? Oh, cardboard box. Cardboard box. Box castle. She's got a box castle. They love boxes. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna have, like, a... Uh... And they make like entire cardboard box castle sets for cats and it, it's really funny. It's impressive that they can hold the weight of the cat. I'm not gonna lie. What we go we got. We got this and then you can can go up. Like a little, little, little thing here. It's like a little tunnel. And you come up here. I don't know, you can like sit. This is like a balcony. Balcony for the cat. This one's got a window, like right here. There we go, is there a cat, is there a cat castle? Which I'll put, put another one, I'll put a smaller one over here. So it's the cat castle right here and then, then we could have, ooh, I know, it's like that. Kind of looks like a little face, a little cat face. Should make that. There we go. Yeah. And then, oh, what else should we have? Oh, we gotta have like a little tunnel. A little tunnel. We're gonna have to, like connect the little tunnel thing over here. I think cats like tunnels. the water and then the food can go food's in the middle with this ginormous plant can serve many cats here at the cat garden I had very different intentions when I started drawing this I was gonna draw a building and then I was like no nah, I don't want to draw a building today <laughs> okay Let's see, let's try executing some of this. So what am I gonna do first? I wanna do this like centerpiece first. Mm, oh my god, where's my What's my court area? The Dr. Wiggles is good for grass. Here we go, we got some grass going, and then I'm gonna get. Have this really massive flower stalk in the middle. See, and that's gonna take which one of these should it take? It's kind of red. I'm gonna make it red because it was red one the when I the one I found was red. A little bit darker red. Yeah. Oh, this brush is harder to control than I than I imagined. Mm. 
There we go. And then I gotta wait one more over here. start in a specific place to get the tapered brush to do what I want. There we go. There we go. And then, let's see, let's make a little bit. Interesting. Interesting how that works. Alright, it's just gonna look like that. Alright, we got our centerpiece, and now we gotta get some little metallic little bowls. Metallic looking bowls. There we go. I don't know, maybe they should maybe should be different colors. Maybe one maybe they'll be yellow. No, I'll be I'll make them metallic and then I can just paint little colors on them. How to make a metallic bowl? That <laughs> is the question. Like I gotta get I gotta make a bowl, right? So it's gotta have a divot. Which of these is gonna be good for a bowl? Maybe if I do one of the guides. Maybe if I get the circle guide? And then I just paint around it with... What does Disco look like? Oh, it's too shiny a bowl! That's pretty neat. But uh, what, what, is, what happens if you paint around it with petals? It's like a little ball of yarn. I actually really like this effect, honestly. I can make a ball of yarn with this. Hold on. I don't know if cats actually you like yarn. Like, do you guys have cats? What are we making? I'm making basically a cat garden. <laughs> it's... It's what's happening. I wanted to make uh, the petal brush is great. I wanted to make a uh, kind of cat cafe tile thing, so I just made a bunch of I'm making a bunch of cat toys. <laughs> Not gonna lie, um, but this can be a good ball of yarn. I don't know if cat do cats actually play with like their yarn in a ball of yarn because my cat didn't. My cat played with like, uh, like the mice sometimes and like the little feather, but I don't know if he ever played with the, with the ball of yarn. Here we go, I have a ball of yarn now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is a nice ball of yarn right there. I'm gonna put that right over there. Okay, good. Got that one. Yeah, I found like I just wanted. I found there was like a really massive flower on the when I was walking to work. I, it was massive. Like the petal itself was larger than my hand. It's it's crazy how big it was. So I decided to make that the centerpiece because I it was it was a wacky flower. I'm, I've only seen like a really exotic flowers be that big. So I, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was like, what is this flower? Now I'm trying to figure out how to make a bowl. Bowl? No. And it's a kind of a complicated process. 
Because if I do that, then like the whole... Because I need a divot on the inside, right? So... What to make? What to use for the bowl? What do I use for it? And duct tape? Bowl? Is is this a bowl? That's not awful. That's not an awful. Oh, I forgot the bottom. Hold on. No, I need the. Bowl? It's a pretty big bowl. Would a cat like to stick its entire face? Hello! Yes, I can. How are you doing? <laughs> How's it going, Mod? I can see that. You've been trying to chat the whole time? Is a cat gonna like sticking its entire face into, like, this bowl? <laughs> is, that, is that a thing a cat would enjoy? I don't really know. A bowl? Oh my god. There we go. Looks too big. I think the bowl's too big. It's just like there we go. It can be it can be tilted like that. I don't know, I heard that tilting tilting the food. Really? Oh yeah, I don't know why I wasn't seeing them before. <laughs> well, I can see them now, so I'm glad for that. Yeah, because like I have, I have read a thing once that you should tilt the cat food at like a 95 degree angle, so you, like you you have a bowl, like you have the bowl, but then, so like I have I have a cat bowl, but I try to keep it a little propped up, like on a box or something, and there's like a little something higher, and then having it up and also a little bit tilted helps them not like lean down so much and then maybe it's supposed to help reduce hairballs. Uh, you know, I don't know. So we got we got a bowl here now. It's got a, it's a nice bowl. I'm gonna fill in that little crack right there. There we go. I don't like this edge. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to do something a little funky. Where'd my guide go? I don't I don't know where it went. Oh oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Hold on. Yes, I am just making a lot of cat decorations. That's kind of, you know, question like part of a cat cafe, but you know, we'll see. I'm gonna have to go a little bit over the top more. There we go. No, hold on. I gotta have. Have less over here where the cat can stick their head in. A little bit more on the top. I have a feeling the cat would just sit in it, not gonna lie. <laughs> the cat's just... If, if a cat was presenting with this, they would absolutely just go sit in it. I have no doubt in my mind. Oh, I don't, I don't want to select the bush. Yeah, this looks like a thing a cat would sit in. Um, I guess I'll, uh... <laughs> Make it something a cat can sit in. <laughs> Alright, hold on. This is something else now. This is so <laughs> it's for the cat to sit in it. Yeah, I would sit in it if I was a cat. We got a ball of yarn. Oh, how do I make a bowl? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Bowl. Just, uh, just, just need a bowl. 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 Maybe I need to start lower. Bowl? Bowl? 
Okay. And then... Bowl. <laughs> when are you gonna get the inside of the bowl? Bowl. Okay, we gotta gotta get the inner layer of the the bowl. Hold on. That's some depth, some depth to the bowl. And then I gotta then I gotta connect it. Why is this the hardest thing I've drawn? Is is a bowl? Why can't I remember what a bowl looks like? Bowl? Bowl. Okay, wait, that's good enough. <laughs> Dude, that's bowl. Okay, we got a bowl. It's good enough. I might paint something. Paint something on the outside of it. Let's see. Let's paint some decorative little paw prints on it. Oh, what do I- what brush do I want to use for that? Let's do some- no, not smoke. Splatter. No. Little dots. No, I don't like that color. Uh, maybe pink. Cause you know, bowl. Sometimes it's those colorful bowl. I don't. I have one actually. I do have blue. I have like a blue bowl. I'm just gonna. It's just gonna be. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. <laughs> just gonna, I'm just gonna put it down. I'm gonna put it right here. Bowl. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put some food in it now. Food in this bowl. Let's go with. We gotta get a brown. I'm glad you liked them because I didn't. I don't know. It just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to. Uh. And dots. A lot of dots. Nope. Not what I want. Nope. How to make food. I was gonna make food. What do I got? I got bubbles. That's rain. Ugh. I got space. Oh my god. I forgot space was that bright. Ah! <laughs> what is race? Okay, cool. That's neat. Digital? Digital didn't do anything. Oh, I could like dots would be fine, but also it's too much. So I'm gonna go with you only have like a Yeah, charcoal. With some charcoal. And I'm gonna put a nice fancy piece space food. <laughs> like some space food? <laughs> go with the pet oh my god. Hold on, what is the space one again? Let's go to the space. <laughs> Oh, hold on, we'll just, just, where is it? <laughs> space baseball. Space, oh, this is difficult. Difficult to gauge. Baseball. <laughs> there you go. You, there's your space. This is the space bowl. All right, hold on. And then, oh, fairy. It's just magic. Some magic food right here. Um, I'm actually gonna put that over here. Like it's a uh, pollen. I think would be fun. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna get. I want to make some nice fish. Nice piece of fish in here for this cat 
whatever cat decides to die in here. Fit. Oh, let's make it a little. Let's see a little bed. We, we. There we go. This piece of fish. And then let's see. I need. There we go. I don't know, I think this is technically tuna. Kinda looks like, you know, the top of sushi, but I, that's all I can imagine what fish looks like right now. So it's gonna look like that. There we go. The pollen is crazy, I know, at least it's pretty pollen. Have a little virtual studios, welcome to our cat cafe. There we go. All right, now we're gonna make like eight of these. Everybody get some fish. Maybe I'll change it, you know, later, but I, I don't want to right now. Okay, we got this bowl. We got this bowl. We got this bowl. There we go. I'm just gonna tilt them a little bit. I'm gonna put them in a, put them on some boxes. Put them on some cardboard boxes. Start getting into our cardboard. Let's see, cause we gotta get that going. Oh, uh, what could be good for cardboard? Goosh? I don't know, I don't know what goosh the, ooh, me, maybe? Square, flat. I do enjoy square, flat. Ooh, some thick geometry's got that good texture. No, not the dry brush. Ooh. Mm, what do we got? Who <laughs> could just do that one? More charcoal. No, I don't want to make put the charcoal too close together. It'll it'll muddy itself up. Uh, I think I think the. Uh, Square flat shade's pretty good for a box, and then we gotta get it to be box colored. Whatever color a box is, you know, you think I know it? No. No. I get a lot of packages in my life, so you think I know what color a box is? Kind of getting there. Yeah, that's a box. All right. I'm gonna move this. Go over there. And then I gotta make a box. 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 Okay, nope, never mind. Not working out how I wanted. Box. It's like coming out of the planter. There we go. And then if I take this, you just stick it in on there. There we go. Okay. Hold on. But I don't have the, I don't have the, I don't, oh. Hold on, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna cut through the bottom. I gotta keep it, so we gotta have like a little bit of a, of a thing. Keep the bowl up here. There we go. Like that. I'm gonna keep the bowl situated. There we go. There we go. It's nice, nice height for the cat. I gotta erase all of these other bowls. Okay. Here we go. We got all of our cat boxes now. Yeah, I have less bowls I can put around it, but they all can eat healthy. And it also acts as a container for this plant. There we go. This is some peak industrial design right here. There we go. Oh god. Okay, there we go. We have our feeding center. Feeding center is done. The feeding hub. 
Let's go. I gotta figure out what to do with that. I gotta make this look fluffy. That's just gonna go over here with the ball for now. Cause I'm gonna work on a little water fountain. Cause I'm excited for that. I like the water fountain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need this. Let's see. I'm gonna need a lot of guides. Hold on. This one's gonna go like that. We go and we have another one over here. There we go. Okay, okay, and then this one needs to move a little bit. There we go. Gotta get the outside. A bunch of guides to combine shapes, which is usually what you do when I- Where am I? No, don't move the guide. Move the scene. I need to be not on the edge somewhere. There we go. No, I think I just want the outline because then we'll just have a flat bottom. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah. And then I'm gonna make it a little smaller. So I can get the inner. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, get on my, where's my guide thing? Where is it going? Ooh. We got this bit, we got this bit. And we got this bit. And then... Stepped on my headset. Okay, and then we gotta get the ground of this one. And then a little bit of a cylinder. Kind of goes. Kind of goes. Kind of. Kind of goes. Figure out how to make a little tower. There we go. A little tower tower thing. Where'd my guides? Where'd they go? Okay, I need... I think the sphere. No. Still not there. There we go. And then... Okay. And then we have... Let's see. Gonna get petal. And then we're gonna go with the... Gonna get some grass. And get some grass. So we got some grass up here. And we get lighter. Got some uh, catnip up at the top. Up here. And then there will be some, some over here. Because I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Put this here. Well, uh, one of them could not have catnip. One of, them, one of them will be free of catnip. And then, okay, let me see. Here we go. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, gotta get the water going. Let's see. I'm gonna put some water. So I'm gonna get my favorite brush. Uh, where is it? Which one is it? Nope. Ooh, wind. There we go. I'm gonna get the wind brush. We get some water flowing. There we go. And then this 
and we got water coming out of here. They just little spigots. I actually have one of these water filters. I have the, the spigot one. And it has like the little heads that uh let you you know have multiple spouts, but I cannot find them. I was gonna put the multi head so like my cat had multiple places to drink from, but I can't find it now, so that's unfortunate. There we go. And we got water for the cats. Gonna get that cylinder again. Make a little container. There we go. Small container for the catnip down here. There we go. All right. Gonna add some streamer. Yeah, it's a little bit more movement. What if I put the rain in here, actually? Well, that's a neat effect. Neat additional effect. Well, mixing the two is pretty cool. Alright, hold on, give me a sec, I gotta get some water. Turn up the turn up the music a little bit. I think it's a little low. There we go. Hopefully that's good. You know, it's not more than me talking, but it should fill the silence. Okay. There we go, we got, we got our water, we got our food. They have basic survival now. There we go. Okay, let's work on... What am I gonna work, what should I work on next? Look at these cat beds, more of these cat beds. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put them over here. And we're gonna put like a nice little bed in here. I'm gonna make them different colors. Ooh, I do have a repaint option actually. We can test that out. So I'm gonna find something to make like a bed. Oh, what's gonna be comfy looking? So just feathers. Feel like a blanket. Kind of like a pillow pet. This will be where the pillow pet goes. Is this comfy looking? You know what, in this context, it actually looks comfy, despite what the brush is named. So let's see. Okay, that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, we're gonna put some feathers in here too, just be, just because. Just small, small little, small little feathers. Maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see, one of these is... Oh, we could use the cloud shape. That's a good, good job. Thank you for the suggestion. Where, where's, where's, where's smoke? That comment, no. Yeah, it kind of like softens it a little bit, gives it a little, little bit of an edge. Uh, I have anything else that would be soft looking? Just 
do not think so. Let's look up, that's a blob. I got bubbles. <laughs> There's bubbles. Yeah, I think that's as soft as it's gonna look. It's not bad, I'm gonna lower the color. Can I, I think I can change color with this one, right? Rebrush. Oh yeah, that's normal. A normal feature is to recolor. <laughs> Maybe color it all. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe pink. That's too bright. Too bright a pink. Still too bright a pink. Okay, better. Pink and orange work, look well together. Alright, we got a nice little bed there. And I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to group it, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put one over here. And I'm going to put one over here. We got one little corner. Corner of beds. And then I'm going to put one on the other side. Well, you know, it's coming out the back, but no one has to know. I'm going to put one over here. I'm going to put like six. Because we can fit six cats, so they all need a bed. Only to bed to sleep in. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Yep, that's what that is. Alright, no. Just want that. There we go. Alright, let's change the colors. Very fluffy. Very fluffy for the cat. Let's see. We're gonna, uh, let's go with a blue one. We recolor we recolor I guess that one's not gonna be recolored. That's that's fine. It's fine, we'll deal with it. And this one will be like a green. Sometimes they just don't wanna recolor and I'm gonna make the feathers darker. There we go. And move these out a little bit. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> right next to the computer. Woo! Alright. We're gonna go over here and we'll do one. Just to go the cute little cat sleeping. Maybe I'll draw a cat or we'll just use... You know, it would probably help if I drew a cat somewhere in here. Uh, let's go with darker blue. I might might get late some time. Probably 7.30 I should probably try drawing a cat. Or two in here. There we go. And I'm going to make one white because I want to. Pretty white. I like a white. This should make it a little, a little bit a bit of a darker. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we got all the beds sorted out. This kind of bothers me, not gonna lie. What happens if I, let me just, uh, I'm gonna have to do this for all of them, but we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Where's my guide? Where did they go? Where did it, where did they go? Okay, great, come here. So we're gonna fix this. Fix the back. And yes, I'm gonna have to do it for every single one of them, but it is fine. It's too obvious. There we go. Put this one over here. Okay, and then we're gonna put one over here. Put 
It's like a little space pod. A little spa kitty space pod. There we go. Okay, gotta go back over here now. I read an article today. And I don't know what it was like talking about how instead of colonizing like you know Mars and everything we should probably be looking at colonizing uh, Titan which is one of Saturn's moons I believe if I'm quoting that correctly there's Saturn and Jupiter and mostly because um, and the argument was that because uh, Titan the moon has um, an atmosphere that more than uh you know mars and the moon do and the atmosphere yeah you know they have like you know methane rain and you know the water is just methane so we'd have to figure that out um but there's like a lot of energy in that then um so we probably have to figure out water and whatnot but um we at least have an atmosphere which could block all of the um the what are, what are words the like the solar flares and all all the gamma rays and everything that comes from the sun while mars and earth we don't really have that protection because there's no atmosphere and it's pretty harmful to have increased exposure of those uh of space radiation for humans so it was it was an interesting article today okay now, like, what did I have in my drafting? I have, I know what I had. Oh yeah, we got the cat tower, and then there's like that cardboard set. And then, there's a lot here, but I wanna get to... Let's go for, let's go for the cardboard scratchy things. Let's get that going. I don't know, I feel like the cat castle would be neat. Let's do the cat castle actually. Yeah, let's okay, I'll do the cat tower over here. And then we'll do the, the cardboard castle. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's get, get a good base going. Try to get it to kinda look like wood. There we go. And then we gotta get, let's see, we gotta get the center going. There we go. Okay, now this has gotta be smaller. Yeah, no, we gotta make this kind of look like it's a little bit of a little textured. Oh, my nose got an itchy nose. Uh, one of these is gonna look like... Ooh, I can add that on top. Okay, okay, got a plan. Let's make it unlit. And then we'll just go up like that and then we'll go to the coarse bristles where'd they go I have to get that outside of it that's interesting that they cast a shadow these br the bristles cast a shadow it's just kind of weird we can make it look like it's a... Kind of got those like spiky little bristles that, that they normally do. Like the little cat that makes it look like it's so scratchable. There we go. Okay, great. And then, all right, I gotta get some planks out here. 
some little posts. Where'd the guide thing go? Hold on, I need that back. Yeah, like, uh, that's not what I want. Like a little ring to the wood epicenter. Okay, great. Now you can go away. And then just come out. There we go. And usually there's probably some type of support, so it'll probably be like that. Gotta have a support. Well, no, it'd probably be like, cause I want, you'd want an opening here for the cat. So it'd probably be like that. I wonder if you could have it like just be here. I wonder if that's enough. That's enough support to like hold the weight. I don't know. I am not a cat architect. So I, so I try to be. Mostly for my cat. <laughs> it's just little, little concoctions of like, how can I make my cat's life better, more comfortable? <laughs> this, is, this is my life. Got a blanket up here. Yeah, got a blanket. Blanket for the cat. Cat can hang out. And then this one will have a blanket also. I used to watch, used to watch my cat from hell. And it was like this guy who's basically a cat whisperer and he looks super scary. Like he's got all these tattoos and things and like, but he's a cat whisperer. He, he loves cats and he's like, it's home. It's really interesting. Some of the stuff he talks about when he goes to people's homes who have like misbehaving cats or like super rowdy cats. Um, and like his home itself, there's like walls like along the, for the cat to walk along. And I always considered putting shelves on the wall for the cat just to like hop and sit and everything. Um, I actually thought about putting hamster tubes along like the roof of my, my house <laughs> when I was like 10. And then I have a wall and then you'd have, and then I was like, all right, I'll put, let's put, uh, let's put, let's put a hamster tube all like along the top of the wall, around the whole perimeter of the house. So the hamster can like run around the edge of the house because <laughs> he would get out anyways to just let him explore in the sky. <laughs> and then the dog and the cat couldn't get to him. So yeah, that's, that's, that's just what I thought about when I was 10. This is uh, constructing my house for the cat. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll just have this be a thing. And then I'll have... There we go. And then we go, we'll have, a, we'll have a, another cat Tori thing up here. B. There we go. And then we'll have a few over here. Make little, little fuzz balls. Little fuzzy cat toys. This one could be a feather. This could be a big old feather. I'll make it. I don't know, kind of like always like some type of orange. It's really, really dark. Cannot see that. There we go, and then we'll, we'll do it like a green one. Green is a common color of, of these also. There we go. 
Okay, great. There's the cat tower. Cat tower. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, this guy. I'm gonna add a little bit more. A little bit more cushion. You look like it's a... Maybe I'll get the, maybe I'll get the, the other brush. No. Doesn't look right in that setting. Not gonna do that one. You know, I'm really in the mood to like watch a sci-fi movie. Not even like I've been watching. Uh, was watching Pacific Rim: The Black on Netflix, and I just finished it today. And now I'm like, mm, sci-fi movie. What? This mostly this song. I'm like, let's watch a song. Let's watch a movie. I don't know what I would watch though. Thursday really is just my my unproductive day. <laughs> I'm just like, mm, I don't really. No. Mm, oh. It's like a mood. Let's see, let me have all this be together. I'll put that over there. And group that. And I'm gonna move these. Move these over here. There we go. Yep. And then we can put the cat castle right here. All right, we're gonna set up the guides with a bunch of cubes. See this cube, cube here, and then another cube back here, smaller cube, right there, and then longer cube, all the way that way, and then. Another small cube, right here. Oh, and a larger cube. More like a little tower, a little tower over here. I'm gonna put it right here, actually. There we go, could be a little stepping, stepping stone for the cat. I'm gonna put another one. There we go. Does that, does that look good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. While I'm working on it, I'll put you guys in spectator mode. Let's see. Hold up. Put you guys in spectator mode, that way you can see me working on it. Let's see, does that look good? POV, you're a cat on top of the other tower. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ooh, remove all my boxes. Weave them in line with one another. There we go. All right. Now we gotta start painting. Start painting some cardboard looking stuff on it. So I'm probably gonna use the text one of the textured brushes for that. 
Why use the single? Now, what is the lace wing? Well, this is a lace wing is an interesting choice. I don't know. What is dance for? Boy, that's fascinating. Oh, interesting. Okay, not what I want, but that's cool. It's a neat one. I'll just use charcoal. No. Marbled rainbow? Could be marbled rainbow. No. Mmm, duct tape? It's gonna be duct tape. It's gonna be the closest thing to cardboard I have. Cardboard looking texture. Dr. Wiggles? No. Guess I could use some coarse brush on top of it. And we got paper. Could do paper, I guess. The Wiggles are free. You the rainbowed marble? Oh, no, marbled rainbow. Wait, is that one? You know what, it's my fantasy cat box. Like, I could do what I want, it's a good point. Where did it go? Marbled rainbow. Yeah, we'll make it marbled rainbow, okay. I'm gonna make it bigger to work with. There we go. So we're gonna have, have our base. Base here. Cat can walk in. And then this one also, it's gonna, I gotta turn on my uh, guides. Now it's gonna have a hole, it's gonna have a hole. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Gonna do this. There we go. There's one, and then we'll have this. No, this one over here. There we go. I'm gonna try to fill in that corner. And then we got the top here. There we go. And then try to get that going. And I'll have to fix it later. And we gotta get a no window here. There we go. And then I'll get another window over here. This is like more of another doorway. Actually, I'll make it a little rounded. There we go. And then it looks like a cool sound system. <laughs> it could be. Let's see, I make this wall. It's like a, it's like a little wall here. There we go, and then let's see. I'm gonna go over here. Probably let the cat I'll leave another window so the cat can come out if it wants. This though is definitely a roof. And then up here is definitely painted in on this side. And then we got the front here. It's kind of like steps. No, oh, we can leave this actually as a window.
we have like a there's like an opening up at the top. Okay, great. And then I gotta move it down a little bit. Cause I'm short. Okay, great. I'm gonna go in here. And then the back, we'll just have, I don't know, the back's going to be the back. Oh, this is, oh, I have an idea for the back. Get to that in a second. Let's see, this one should have a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of opening over here. Actually, the way this way. Okay, okay. Got a few more walls. Got to get. Got to get this side. balcony over here okay there we go and then we're gonna get the bridge Okay, there we go. I gotta get this bridge. There's a lot of doors. And this cat castle. <laughs> it's crazy how they go from a bus sketch. Yeah, you join the join the little pile. What does it look like? Uh, okay, yeah. If I turn off, I'll turn off the guides in a minute. Let me see. Okay, and then. Yeah, I'll turn off drafting lines. Okay. And then I do need, I'm gonna need to not have the guides for this. There we go, and I'm gonna get Woo. You know, there was a game in uh in middle school that I used to play like all the time and I think it was called oh my god I don't know what it was called but basically it was like a cat running game so like you were it was like a it wasn't even a music game I don't know it was like a crazy cat game like you literally could be different types of cats from like like unicorn cat to like like a crazy metal cat like and then you'd run through the level and it's like a platformer but I don't know if it was like a wow I'm gonna have to like dig up like through the batches of my memory to figure out what this game was I wonder if it's still on my Google account somewhere you know how Google saves games that you've played before and this is how I remember anything I've played 
Let's see, gonna fill in, gotta fill in little cracks here. All right, we're gonna have to paint. What color should we paint the outside mod? What do you think? How should we decorate it? Cause you know, it's cardboard. We gotta decorate it a little bit. Any suggestions? Any, any colors we said? Just some banners. There we go. This is the main rainbow, some more space theme. Okay, we can do that. We can make it more space like. Let's see how we can do it. Hmm. <laughs> what should we add? Also, gonna be difficult. We got our marbled. We got. Space is too much. It'll hurt the cat's eyes. Let me see. Let me see what we got. A bubble. Can I get rid of fire too? Yeah, I can. Oh, I have a dot maker. That would have been actually helpful to remember earlier. Oh god. <laughs> this is messing with the messing with some of them off screen in case I forget that I can't like erase them. Cause some of the brushes here I can't erase. Hmm. Trying to, I'm trying to find like a good. Well, that's pretty good actually. I like the I like the feel of that. It looks like paint. Go with Galactic Cat. Do some purple. We can do some purple. We're gonna. Let's make it purple. It's too purple. Hold on. Gonna do the edge, the border of things. Maybe I don't like it. Maybe I don't like the I don't like the taper. There we go. I like this better. It's better. There we go. Gotta go. No, we're gonna do that a different color. Like a, it's like a medieval fort. Little flag over here. Here we go. And then we'll get, get to like the edge of this. I highlight all the edges. There we go. And then I'm gonna get a green.
outline all the windows just so they stand out. Little doorways. Okay, now we put that back. And then I'm gonna make the tops like a little tent. Little tops, little tent area. So it's gonna be a. Uh, It's gonna be red. Be red like a tent. A little little tarp area up here. Uh, if I get rid of the guide. How's that? How's that look? <laughs> Message to Leo. How's that look, Mod? Does it look okay? Got our got our cat castle here. Have to be hanging out in the style indeed they will be all right it's almost 7 30 so i gotta get to drawing a cat but i gotta fill in some like little slots here like there's a floor hold on gotta be a floor in here There we go. Okay, got a floor. Now we got one more thing. So you're gonna come back with me. Go around the back. Left an opening back here. Because I wanted to do, let's see, what, what brush should I do? Should I do diamond for this one? Maybe not. Maybe bubble. Mm, maybe the bubble brush. The bubble brush is really funny for this actually yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do the bubble brush and it's like a little cat tunnel right there there we go I'm gonna make some little like rings. Oh, yeah, this that one disappears. Oh, I forgot about the hue shift. There we go. Cat kitten, there's like little structural supports. There we go. I can't see it. what. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. I think we well, basically got everything I wanted to get in. I didn't do the cardboard wall, but it's just fine. I don't need that. We got, I'm gonna move around some stuff really quick. But move around this middle area. So it's more in the middle. Put that right there. We got, we got our flower. We got our cat toy tower. We got our beds and some, uh, 
some string and we got a cat castle complete with a little fancy fancy old tube thing they chilling i'll build my cat a cat castle she won't use it so i probably shouldn't do that i'm gonna put this back a little bit put that back over there kind of so then i'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get this and I'm gonna move it to be like over here. I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have one over here. I'm gonna have one. Laying stuff out is hard. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna grip that one. I'm gonna grip that. Let me grip the castle. Gotta get it, gotta select it all. Paintbrush, gotta catch it all. There we go, okay. Group that. Where should I put it? I kinda made it an arch shape with the tail. I might redo the tail. Wait, no. That's fine. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it right there. There we go. And then actually this one needs to go I'll move these <laughs> to like right there. Move that right here. Move this. There we go. Okay, now it's laid out pretty well. Do you want a place like this? You gotta get some cardboard and then you can build whatever you want. <laughs> Build yourself a dome. All right, we gotta make some cats now. Let's see, let's make one sleeping. Make one sleeping in here. Let me see, what is this? Okay, I don't know. Okay, let's see, what color should a cat be? I think, I think I'm gonna make the first one a tabby. I think that'll like fit well into here. Tabby cat. Here's a tabby, we got a tabby cat here. It's gonna be very minimal. What I do, I'm gonna need tune for the eyes. I'm gonna need... There we go, and I'm gonna need some like stripes. There we go, he's a little tabby cat. Oh, I lost my chat. Sort of, sort of tabby cat, you know, we're trying. I'm gonna have it like... There we go, there's one. One little kitty sleeping, and then we're gonna have one kinda, this is a pretty comfy, cozy cat. Let's see, what else can I make? What other cat can I make? I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my cats. Make one of them sitting up here.
Yeah. So we got cat. Cat. My cat sits like a loaf a lot. She just kind of sits there. Like the cat loaf position. Kind of looks like a big old rat. <laughs> this is what this looks like right now. <laughs> so you gotta get some green eyes because she's got some, it's kind of like she got some yellow green eyes. Then I gotta get she's hanging out. She's kind of like a sneaky cat. And then she's like calico, so she's got like this. orange spot on her head and like some other orange spots Too much, too much detail. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, she's got some nice eyes. The cat, there's a cat over here, and then we'll go back to this cat. Put a cat over here. Where would my other cat shadow be? Actually, shadow my my cat shadow. He'd be back here. Really going at, going after this thing. I'm gonna make this a lot. I'm gonna make this taller. Put this up a bit. Like that. It's pretty big. Hold on, he's not that. He he wasn't that big. Like a good long snoot. Need a long looking face. I thought he heard. He's this nice, like, fluffy tail. It's very, he was a very soft cat. The 
black cat reminds you of something where you can't put your finger on it, I would love to know. Because I'm not really... I don't know what you think it would see. Uh, Shadow also had really green eyes. His were more green than Balagi's. A little whiteboard. That's too mint. Yeah, it reminds you of the panther from the Jungle Book. That's hilarious. Man, my cats look like mice to me. This one, this one does at least. Very, very mouse-like because it's white. Because he's white, but he's not that. He's not that mouse-like. Hold on, I'm gonna add some fluffy feathers to his tail. His tail was very fluffy. He was a long hair cat. But we didn't know he was a long hair when we got him. This shelter had cut him to be a short hair and then his hair kept growing. We were like, this isn't a, sh this isn't a short haired cat. I don't know how I like this. I don't know if I do or not. I don't lie, I think it's too much. Okay, the white reminds me of Angelina Ballerina. Wow, that's such a memory right there. Angelina Ballerina! <laughs> ah, that's great. I'll take Angelina Ballerina. <laughs> See, maybe I have. Maybe we'll do this. He kind of had this thing. I don't remember which eye. I think it was this eye. He was like, he's like gray and white. <laughs> I can't. It looks even more mouse like. <laughs> His back was mostly gray. This is a very small cat. This cat just looks like a weird porcupine. Before, it kind of looks like a cat. We'll keep it. Hold on, let's see if I can recolor the tail. Man, it is the it is the same color. What if I make this really dark? Yeah, that's a little bit more subtle. That's fine. Okay, great. Nope. 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 Okay, great.
Didn't know I could do that. Wow, I didn't know I could reset my view over here. All right, I don't like these Z's though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something else with them. I make a new set. There we go. That's fine. All right, and we got. A little, a little, a little assembly to a porcupine. This is just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we got a cat over there. We got a cat sleeping. We got a cat up there. Let's have a cat sitting over here. What type of cat should we draw now? All right. So what I think about it, we need to get some more water. You know, it's a very nice place in Wonderland. We should give it a little bit of atmosphere, actually. A little bit of a setting. Let me see. Let's try to make like a little enclosure. like a little cat garden. <laughs> Try to give it that magical feel. <laughs> Just like the secret cat garden. I think there's a book called The Secret Garden. I think my grandma gave it to me. I never read it. <laughs> have, it have it be a little contained. Oh god. Little cat paradise. Maybe this is what a uh... no, that's too just too dark. <laughs> <It's> for... <laughs> Yeah, I've never read it. Maybe you should read it if you if you should your mom's favorite. I can't get rid of the thought, so maybe I'll just say it. I was gonna say maybe this is like what, what, where like the secret garden that's like in a kitty heaven. You know, that's where all the cats go. I hope that's not too sad. <laughs> too sad of a thought.
Yeah, I would hope they would all have a they'd have a good time when they go up there. Sorry. <laughs> Made myself sad. Yeah, yeah, I want it. Yeah, I'm trying to go for that magical feel. I'm trying to decide if I should do something uh, like a dome like we did with the, the fox. Make it a little contained. Uh, it was. It's mostly inspired by. Um, there's a poem. It's called the uh, the Rainbow Bridge, and uh, it's about you know when uh, when you when eventually you know you pass on. Also, you you cross a rainbow bridge, and then on the other side of the rainbow bridge is uh you know all all your pets and um and everybody who was with you during your lifetime too and you know they're having a good time and then they're just they're waiting you know for when you join them <laughs> sorry <I'm> so <laughs> i don't mean to make things so sad right now <laughs> i didn't mean to go down that train of thought Focus on the magic of the cat world. Yeah, we got it. We got our happy little cats in here. They're having a good time. Let's see. Let's see. I kind of want to put one. I want to put one up here. It's like the king cat. Right here. One really. What do it's like? Like the most regal looking cat. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what would be. I kind of think of the like super poofy one. The it starts with an M. I can't remember which it is. It's like a. Oh my God! What is a ma mancoon? It's like a mancoon. Is what it is. We draw a man coon up here, sitting, sitting on his cat castle throne, hanging out.
And then you gotta give him a little crown. He gets a, he gets a crown. He's the, he's the current cat king. And they all take turns being cat ruler for like a week. Although I'm sure there is no such type of monarchy or any type of structure within this cat kingdom. Because they're cats and they all want to be the ruler at the same time. So no, <laughs> I'm sure nobody really cares. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll make it disco. I'll find a use for the disco. With this, uh, this little cat crown. It's like one of those Halloween costumes that you just kind of put on the cat. This is going to be the only time I ever get to use Disco. There we go. And I'm going to make this one. You know what I really love? I love cats with heterochromia. Let the cats party it up. Yeah. I really like cats that have like that heterochromia in their eyes. No, not that one. Gotta go. And I don't know if it's prevalent in this uh, in this breed or not. No, it's too. I don't know. Heterochromia just I just I just love it a lot. I think it's neat. <laughs> I use it a lot in my characters. <laughs> Honestly. If not, if my characters don't have magical powers, they'll have like, like, if they don't have like magical powers that somehow change their eye color, then it's definitely going to be like just naturally heterochromatic. I don't think it's actually heterochromia, but I don't remember what the, the actual, the official title is. I'm going to get some, some little, little spots, spots on him. Oh, I forgot his tail. <gasps> I'll give him a bobtail. I also don't know if that's a feature of this breed, but you know, at this point, I, I don't, I don't know, man. This is what happens when you don't draw with a reference. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Ugh. Give him a bob tail. Bub. Bub. Little bob tail. Got some stripes on his face. There we go. We got a king cat up there. We got we got the little white cat, we got the black cat, we got a tabby sleeping over there. We got a castle box. I think it's all so good. All right, let's actually, you know, save this. <laughs> Haven't saved it yet. <laughs> there we go. Let's take some photos. Got to let's start with the cat, the cat king up here. With queen, you know, could be cat queen. We got our cat tower. We 
got a nice little like food meal right here in the center. Delicious. Or a catnip fountain, you know, never lasting catnip. It's cute. Here we go. And then I gotta get Kitty Castle. I want of the whole place. See if I can if, if, see if there's a way for me to get every cat in here. Me, oh man, no, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, right here. You can you can kind you can see every cat. Well, it's not the most ideal. There we go. There we go. They're living, they're living their best life here. Really just no stress. They got food, they got catnip, they got toys, and they got beds. It's all good for them. What is that? What is this? I don't know. There we go. My name is Percy Gubbs. Also, I love this. Love this song. I don't know what. I can't remember what it is, but this is a good, good song. All right, everybody. Well, here's our here's our cat garden, secret cat garden. We got a lovely, lovely kitties enjoying living their best life. We got a cat castle. We got little beds. We got a cat tower. We got some fresh salmon every day. We got some water, multiple water spots, and a little cat tunnel. So I think that's uh, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, it's eight o'clock. So thank you guys, everybody, for hanging out with me uh, as we, you know, contributing to the ideas for our little cat party here. It's a lot of fun. Tomorrow, you guys see the technical difficulties. What happened? When like you just couldn't, just wasn't registering. Maybe wasn't connecting. Sorry, it was so rough for you at the start. And this is like water bus is just so good. The added the added raindrops really help with the direction indicating direction and every <laughs> the one time I will use disco. No, oh, the Wi Fi just stopped, so that's unfortunate. Alright. Alright everybody, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow for some more VR games. But in the meantime, have a lovely evening and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!